Tears of joy can be found Through the thought of you I'll be troubled and puzzled and scorned by your love Till I know Whether to stop or live my life in pain uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Knowing the thought of you will drive me insane Let's welcome aboard the Soul Train for the first time six very beautiful young people who recently claimed their place among the most talented families in the soul music business. Let's get some hands together for the Silvers. <laughs> Let's start on this end over here. What's your name and what sign are you? Charmaine, I'm Pisces. All right, your name? Ricky Lieber. James Gemini. All right. Edmund Aquarius. Olympia Libra. 
Leon Pisces. All right. We've got a pretty good mixture here, haven't we? Yeah, where's mommy? Is she somewhere around? Oh, there she is. Yeah. <laughs> hey, thanks for coming on our first show and everything. I'm really excited about having you here. And Leon, uh, who wrote the first song that you did? Uh, I did. What made you write that, man? Uh, life today, you know. <laughs> Met, I met Olympia a long time ago, and she told me, said, hey man, I want you to hear my brothers and sisters. We got a group, a fantastic group. We were just kind of getting into it then, and that's when I told you. Hey, this is Pete Peterkin. Hey, I want to thank you guys for checking out my video and I hope you're enjoying it so far. I'd like to do a little quick disclaimer. Um, we're going to be doing mashups during this video. Um, we're going to take songs that do not have a video representation and combine them with the audio of the songs that I want you guys to check out. Okay, so getting back to the silvers, let's talk about the uh, 800 pound gorilla in the room. I'm talking about the afros, okay? Because the Silvers had the baddest Afros on the planet, bar none. And let me just explain something to those of you who didn't grow up in the hood, like I grew up in Brooklyn. Back in the 70s, if you had an Afro, like a big Afro, you were like a neighborhood god, okay? You'd be walking around, looking all good. And if you were in show business and you did not have an Afro, you were pretty much a scrub. Unless you had like some serious major talent, like Al Green or Marvin Gaye or even Curtis Mayfield. For a long time, I could not grow any hair, okay? So one day, I, I wanted an Afro, man. So one day, I went and bought this thing. I saw it uh, in the paper. This new thing that was going on. It was called a hair weave. And so I went out and got me this weave, man. And so I had me an Afro, so I was cool for a while. And, <laughs> of course, after a year and a half, that thing started really getting on my nerves. It was itching like crazy, and so I just took some scissors and cut that sucker out, man. I was like, man, I'm sick of this thing. And my hair was all shriveled up. But lo and behold, I pulled it out, and it was like that long. And I was like, oh, wow. The weave made my hair grow. <laughs> Who knew? And so I was walking around with my afro, you know, and I was like, yeah, see, I told y'all that was my hair. What you talking about, man? <laughs> you know, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> you know, so I was cool, man. Sometimes I feel I'm kicking up my shoes And take a long rest I don't need me myself To you, to you, to me, to me Even this shall pass away Even this shall pass away
talk about uh, the fact that there are several documentaries online, uh, particularly Unsung, which did a great uh, documentary on the Silvers. But I want to talk about the positive things. We all know about the things that the Silvers went through during their uh, careers. But uh, I want to talk about the positive things. Like Leon Silvers, the songwriter, he was unbelievable. How do you write songs on a bass guitar? I mean, and he was writing intricate stuff on a bass guitar. No piano, no guitar, just a bass, just notes. And I couldn't figure out how he was doing it. to introduce Foster. Ladies and gentlemen, Foster Silvers. Pick up on the bank and strike love and devotion. In the tracks of lost emotion. It's going to suck the time she stole. But it's just a misdemeanor. You got to get over it. What you gonna do? For illegal parking But don't you know It's no big deal Thank you so She's not the real But the new appeal She's so dumb But it's just a misdemeanor You got to get over it Love her from the start Love trip Said thanks All can Come Pick in. up on the bank Make and strike Love and devotion Don't confide In the tracks of lost emotion She's not the real But the new appeal She's so much But it's just a misdemeanor You got to get a over it You're what I need Well, when we when I did it on the audition, all of it wasn't done. It was just the first verse and chorus, and then okay. we just kind of. So I didn't I didn't finish it, but I knew that was the best thing I had as far as reaction when people hear it. It's like, and then the way I'd stomp with the bass playing, and the the uh, the, the, the my younger sister saying, "Look, Jack, setbacks." Oh my God! It, it had a nice, and everybody be clapping and. Mm -hmm. it, it sounded great just live with the bass what and that's what did it yeah we didn't play nothing else after that the the, the mgm started clapping the people in that it mike lloyd and i that was that was it What love has done to me, girl You got me loving you And I don't know what to do Girl You got me tied down to your love And I don't know, and I don't know And I don't know, and I don't know what to do That's not the way That's not the way That's not the way It's supposed to be
cities, nations, even civilization itself, threatened with annihilation because in one moment of history-making violence, nature, mad, rampant, wrought its most awesome creation. But a want of free People kill it just to kill what they need That's right Forget who's right Take it inside on your life If you start a revolution to improve life Then you won't be afraid to get it on Start a revolution to erase life Then that spells with the fun chaos talk about um, the late Edmund Silvers who was really something very very special very special as a matter of fact I I'm gonna make a statement right here and I'm gonna say that Edmund Silvers was Prince before Prince became Prince uh, you know uh, th that's, that's, that's kind of a strong statement but here's the thing see Edmund had the big fro uh, Prince started out with the big fro. Matter of fact, people used to say that when he first came out, he looked like a member of the Silvers. I read several articles about Prince, and they said, yeah, this, this new guy, he looks like a member of the Silvers. So that was one thing. Uh, and then Edmund was doing some some pretty wild dancing, man, that, that you could see Prince doing uh, later on. But you know he had to be looking at, at Edmund Silvers. And... Vocally, in his younger years, before the voice change, uh, he was really something special. He could hit notes so effortlessly. I mean, it was like he was like a machine. He could just like hit these notes, man. I mean, this little kid. Um, anyway, check out uh, this little ad lib he did on one of the songs called "Only One Can Win."
Wow, that was something special. And just in case you thought Edmund and the Silvers couldn't get funky, check out this mashup I did on a song from the Silvers 3 album called TCB. Check this out. Ladies and gentlemen, our friends, the Silvers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Silvers. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen the, the Silvers. Silvers. <laughs> Thank you guys again for checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me leave you with a couple of really special songs. This, by the way, was one of the songs that was written by Jane Silvers, I'll Never Be Ashamed Again. And we got something really special after that, so stick around. <laughs>
Jonathan, he's four years old, and Charmaine is five, Leon the third is six, and Olympia is seven. Oh, a lovely friend. Stay. 